I remember one. Wait a minute. Do that again. Hi everyone. So recently I put a video out that uh, I said um, something like did Fuji fix the autofocusing in video mode? Well, I don't think they did. I think I found a way around it, but I don't think it's a very good um, way of, of, of going around it, but it might be a solution for now. As you can see right now, there's a lot of focus hunting right here, right? Uh, over here are the plants, they're going back and forth, and the trees are also hunting as well. Now, right now at 1 16th of a second, F4, and exposure compensation is around zero, and ISO 1000, face recognition, I'm at AFC, and the movie AF movie mode or AF movie setting is on area but you can see that there's a lot of focus hunting going on this is what I was trying to avoid before and I thought I figured it out but it had a lot to do with the lens I was using and the aperture okay so what I'm gonna do here it, oh another thing too it does have a ND filter uh, three stops now if I go over here, there's still some focus hunting. Now, forgive me if I'm looking towards one side, I'm looking at a small HD. Excuse me, <laughs> the cool thing about the Fuji X-E3 is that I can manipulate the ISO and so forth while it's recording. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower down the ISO to 200, okay? dark of course it's still f4 it still recognizes my face but you can see that there's some focus hunting going on right but that's not what i wanted to do what i want to do is i want to remove this nd lens so we're going from the previous iso to 200. this is the exposure without the nd lens and now i'm at 1 60th of a second, F4, ISO 200, and now I'm above about a third of a stop over. And it's focus hunting. Focus hunting at four. Now how bad is this focus hunting? Is it is it really bad compared to something like the X100F? Well, so far I think I've been, I'm in focus. The only thing is some of these things are a little bit off focus right they, they tend to do some focus hunting the moment I get closer you know sure you're paying attention to me and but there's some focus hunting right there and over here in the in the plants down here so one of the things that we could do and this is where I found how we can get uh, something different I'm going to use the N the ND filter. And we're going to lower down the F stop to 1.4. And there it is. Voila. 1 60th of a second, f1.4. Uh, the exposure compensation is about zero and it's ISO 200. Because of the shallow depth of field, the, the Fuji, I guess, system, focus system, doesn't have to worry about what's behind me because it's only worrying about a certain plane. Oh, wait. Even if I move over here, yes, it has to refocus because I moved a little bit, but there's no more focus hunting right there, uh, right here. There's no more focus hunting. Every time, of course, I move closer or farther, it's going to have to refocus. So at first, initially, I thought that 
it was fixed. Uh, it was fixed, but it's all, it only works when you have a very shallow depth of field. Uh, so far, experimenting with it, the farther away you go from 1.4, the more focused hunting you're gonna get. Now, this is a very particular situation, right? There's a lot of things going on over here. I mean, you got trees, you got a bunch of trees. Sometimes the trees are moving. They're not moving today as much. You got louvers that are over here that uh, create kind of like a contrast, right? And I can easily make it go back to, uh, let's make it go back to focus hunting. I'll just take it up to, let's say 800 ISO, and I pump this up to, let's say 5.6. Now let's increase the ISO to, 1600 it's still underexposed 3200 there we go 5.6 so that's 5.6 one sixtieth of a second 5.6 two thirds overexposed 3200 iso and now the whole world <laughs> is going crazy it's probably trying to but my focus is pretty constant so yes, we um, we could do it in manual focus, but what about if you don't have anybody behind you, right? Um, I've also tried this with uh, with no face recognition, and I did it with only area, right? Continuous autofocus area, and it does the same thing. It uh, it's pretty incredible. So, I'm not sure if there was ever a fix. Um, recently, I, I got the 16 millimeter, 1.2, oh, I'm sorry, 1.4. And when I had my X-T2, I had the same problem. At that time, I had a, a 2.8, a 16 to 55, 2.8, and I did have a, a 2, but I really never, I mean, I tried, different settings in the camera but I didn't think it was something like the aperture but now I know that it is it has to be now I'll put it back to 1.4 bring this down to 200 and I can even put it on auto 1.4 auto now at f 1.4 ISO auto at 160 of a second, ISO is auto must, uh, it's probably going down as much as it can on the ISO because it would overexpose, right? The, the exposure comp, the, I have a, an exposure compensation meter right there. It needs to be at zero if it wants to be in the proper uh, exposure. Now it's calmed down. ISO is auto, but it's way down. It's the f-stop that's really the thing that makes it um, go wacky. And if now as ISO is auto, I'm going to increase the f-stop. Now, the ISO is increasing while the f-stop is increasing so that it can keep the exposure compensation, which is at zero. At the moment, it's at f5.6. It starts to focus on now where exactly let's see let's try 2.0 here's 2.0 f 2.0 160 of a second iso auto it's not i mean there's a little bit of focus hunting at f2 and yes i am moving a little bit and it needs to recompose like I, I go over here, it needs to recompose, of course. All right? Go over here, and I'm about, oh, three and a half feet or something. There's a little bit of focus hunting, right? Just on the edges a little bit, and the plants over here, they go back and forth on focusing, which is not that bad, F2. But you can't record an F, 
the, the thing is, you can't record an F2 all the time, right? It's not possible. Okay, I'm gonna change this to 2.8, okay? Here's 2.8, and it's holding a little bit. Not too bad. Right? Well, there's not too much focus on team. I was a little more pessimistic, actually. That's there. And now it's coming along. Definitely. The plants over here, right? They're, they're going back and forth. And sort of sort of the edges here a little bit not let me see yeah the edges yes I can see it now the edges right here on the louvers that's 2.8 uh, that's a sort of acceptable let's do 3.2 at 3.2 The plants over here are, is becoming to be more focus hunting, and the background is now more focus hunting. Okay, now let's try four. Again, the whole point in doing something like this is I'm keeping the shutter speed constant. The ISO is varying because it needs to keep the exposure compensation, or the exposure the same. The only thing that I'm changing right now is the f-stop. So I started at 1.4, now I'm at 4. And let's focus on team, all right, at 4. Now, is it is it that bad? I don't know, let me see. If I look at this picture here, now I'm not using the focus peaking and I'm just talking, is that distracting? Do you feel that that's distracting? I don't know, could be. It doesn't look too bad, but it is, you can see it, you can see the whole thing going back and forth. Now, if that's not that distracting, then maybe it's not bad. I, to me it is. I'm gonna go back to uh, focus speaking. Now let's try 5.6. And I know at 5.6, it's really trying. And my theory is, is that the more um, depth of field you want, the camera's really going to try to put everything in focus, and the face recognition really doesn't really matter anymore. Because it's trying to focus everything, and it should be focusing only on me. Maybe there's a different setting I'm supposed to do. Maybe multi. I'm not sure. But for now, area doesn't seem to work. I'm going to pump it up to 16. All right. Here's uh, that's the focus. The um, face recognition took a little while there. Now I'm at 16. F16. So. I saw 1 60th of a second, F16 and auto uh, ISO, and I have negative two thirds, wow, exposure compensation. And they're still focus hunting. You would think that I should be, I should be, most of this should be uh, in focus, but it's still trying to focus on me and the background, both at the same time. Definitely, you can see me in focus. All right, I'm gonna move it back to 1.4. And it should be good. Okay, so hopefully that's a good test. Maybe someone else could do the similar test on the X-T2 um, or some other camera and find out if it works. All right, see you later.